Hello everyone. Welcome back to Teaching Baseball Card Breaks. This is Jake and I'm coming at you with a 2020 Topps Series 1 tin break today. Uh, thank you all for coming in and watching this video today. Leave a like if you like it. Um, now if you watched my last video where I introduced myself and kind of explained what I was trying to accomplish with the channel, uh, you might remember that I mentioned that I was expecting the birth of my daughter um, and that was about two weeks ago. Well, on Tuesday, June 2nd, our daughter was born, uh, and we've been getting settled back in, but today we're all settled in, we're good. She's taking a nap with my wife, which leaves me a little bit of time to open some packs of baseball cards. So here we are. I've got three of these tins. Picked these up at Walmart today. We went in to pick up some formula and looked at the baseball cards, looking for some 2020 Bowman, but they didn't have any. Surprise, surprise. And I found these on the shelf instead. So I grabbed them, said, you know what? Let's just do these as an opening and go from there. Uh, I got each of these tins for about $15 at Walmart. Um, so it's right up my alley as a budget break um, channel. So going to be a shorter one today because we're just going to open these three tins, see what we get and go from there. Um, but again, thank you as always for everyone who's watching, liking, all that, subscribing. Um, it means a lot to me to have people support. This tin's unwrapped because I want to unwrap it in the car before we got home to see our odds, which I've got that there, but we can see. Not very well, but there are the odds. Um, so, got three of these. This one, I did not open the actual pack of cards yet. As you can see, it's still sealed, but we'll open it now and see what we get. So tin number one, I've actually never opened these tins before because I have never actually been able to find them on the shelf when I've gone to look. Um, so when I saw them today, I said, you know what? Now would be a good time to do that. So obviously the 2020 design, it's a very clean design. I enjoy it. Um, I love the more modern look on the side here. And let's get right to it. So we're, we're looking for some key rookies like Gavin Lux, Bo Bichette, Aristides Aquino, Jesus Lizardo, uh, Jordan Alvarez is in here, AJ Puck, and Dustin May. Those are kind of the top cards we got. And one thing I should have shown at the beginning, in these tins we get 75 cards. And we do get one exclusive Chrome Decades Best and insert. And we get five 2020 Turkey Red and one Chrome Turkey Red for 2020 in each of these tins. Okay, so here we go. We got Trevor Bauer, we got CJ Crone, Aaron Nola, Willie Adamas, the Cubs team card, Tim and Yolmer, Tim Anderson, Yolmer Sanchez, their infielders, uh, Steven Strasburg, Orlando Arcia, Boba Shett rookie. One of the big cards we're looking for. Set that guy down right there. Sonny Gray, Fernando Tatis. He's a good one. Not a rookie, but that is his rookie cup card. Second year card. Manny Machado. Tim Anderson was that last one. Dwight Smith Jr. Matt Chapman. Tyler Flowers. Gary Sanchez. Your Jordan Yamamoto. Miles Mikolas. Vlad Jr. Put him down with Bichette and Tatis. We got three of the big young stars there. That last card was Tyler Beattie. Uh, I do like to look through every card. I know you could very easily skip to the middle. I know these aren't hobby packs, but you know, that's where the, the hits are. But I like to look at every card. I really enjoy the, the design and just seeing who we get. So Cattell Marte, Chris Paddock, future stars card. He's gonna, he has potential for a big future in uh, San Diego. Jorge Polanco, Domingo Santana out the Indians, Evan Longoria. We get a rainbow foil or a refractor, whatever you want to call it, of Jock Peterson. We get this is one of our big in, this is one of the big inserts in 2020, the decades best. This is one's the teams, and this is the Orioles. We got a Goldschmidt 85 style there. We got George Springer, Josh Hader, Gio Urshela. Yadi Molina and Vlad Guerrero Jr. I'm gonna put him down with that. Uh, I do like I love the turkey red. I like the almost like painting style of them. 
Here's our two exclusive Reese Hoskins cards to come out of our Walmart boxes. Decades best teams are the 2010s, Chicago Cubs. This is the Chrome style. Um, yeah, of course, that team uh, took down my Indians, so that hurt a little bit. And we get a Cattell Marte, tops Chrome, with the Diamondbacks. This card might end up being worthless if we don't get the season back. Home run challenge for Mookie Betts. And back to our base, we get Brian Anderson, Mike Moustakis, Max Stacey, Stassi, Adrian Morjohn, rookie card, Daniel Palka from the White Sox. Daniel Palka. Uh, Ian Kinsler. Matt Barnes, Jake Arrieta, Christian Vasquez, Manny being Manny, Manny Machado out there. Daniel Mengden, one of the coolest mustaches. He goes with the Raleigh Fingers style. We got Zach Wheeler now with the Phillies. We got Herman Marquez, Jake Lamb, Ben Gamble, Starling Marte now with the Diamondbacks. We got Brandon Crawford, Austin Meadows. The uh, Chris Archer trade brought him down. And now Chris Archer is having major surgery, thoracic outlet surgery. Uh, so he's going to be sidelined with whatever we get out of this season, probably into next. JT Romito, Zach Granke, Taylor Rogers, Bregman, Je uh, Jeremy Jeffress, Carlos Santana, Jordan Alvarez. Put him down here with these guys. Clayton Kershaw, Surefire Hall of Famer. Ramon Laureano had a good season last year. He's a future star. Mike Clevenger. Awesome pitcher for the Indians. Love him. Billy Hamilton, Hansel Robles, Larry Garcia, Nicky Lopez, Sean Doolittle, Brandon Belt, Big Meat Pete, his league leaders card. Still set that down. And Merrill Kelly rounding out our first 10. Well, I hope that everyone is doing well. Hope that anyone who might be graduating high school, you're still able to do so. Uh, anybody... Uh, graduating college, hopefully that went off. I uh, know school's over down here. Uh, distance learning wrapped up on the 29th, and now we're officially in summer vacation. So I'm excited because I get to spend the next three months with my newborn uh, and actually not have to worry about missing time because I'm at work uh, as a teacher uh, being gone all day. But, you know, that is life of a parent, you know. Not that I really know yet, but you know, sometimes you gotta, you know, gotta go to work, gotta do stuff. So, just happy that I get to spend some time at home. And let's get this second box, second pack open. I don't mind these, you know, massive packs that they put in products like this and uh, hanger boxes. It makes it kind of easy to go through them all. I'm gonna take out everything before. Our turkey red, and then we'll do that second half. So starting off, we got Rogelio Armenteros, rookie card, Matt Olson, Dominic Smith, Josh Van Meter, John Lester, Charlie Culberson, Jackie Bradley Jr., JBJ. We got Ian Kennedy, Max Kepler, German-born, uh, could be f potential future starter for Twins, Hunter Dozier, Nico Horner. Now he's actually... Got a decent future. That's a good-looking rookie car. He could be something good there for the Cubs. Justin Turner, Oscar Mercado. Mercado, one of my favorite rookies from last year, being an Indians fan. Uh, he came up and had a pretty pretty good year for being a rookie. Garrett Cooper, Brad Hand. We got Dario Agrizal, Rossell Iglesias, Anthony Rendon, now over with the Angels. Chance Sisko, Nick Solak, rookie card. Jay Bruce with the Phillies. We got Robel Garcia, rookie card. Patrick Corbin. Jesus Aguilar now with the Marlins. Jorge Alfaro, his new teammate. Liam Hendricks had a good breakout year last year, soaking it all in, celebrating a walk-off. We've got decades best teams, the 60s Los Angeles Dodgers with Sandy Koufax there in the middle. Um... Sandy Koufax, one player that if I could go back in time and watch play, it would be to watch him, Tony Gwynn, and Mike Schmidt probably be my other two top two. Okay, so here's our turkey red. We've got 
Brennan Rogers, Christian Yelich, Chris Davis with a K, uh, Yusei Kikuchi with Seattle, and Juan Soto. Here's our two Reese Hoskins cards. Here's our Chrome, Decade's Best Batters, Monty Irvin with the Giants in the 1950s. And Aristides Aquino, Chrome. That is a nice looking one, rookie card. Mike Clevenger, Tommy LaStella. Now we get to flip these around. Sean Murphy. Uh, that last one was Jock Peterson. Dropping cards and everything. That's great. Uh, Jeff McNeil, good breakout year last year for him. JT Riddle, Shane Bieber, awesome. Uh, another front of the rotation guy for the Indians. Going to enjoy watching him for the next, you know, hopefully 10 or so years to come and he stays on top of his game. Only gets better. Austin Nola, Jesse Winkler, Winker, uh, Pete Alonzo, sit him down. That's a nice one. No, it's not his rookie. But when you get the polar bear, Pete Alonzo, you got to pull him out. Kevin Biggio, he, um, again, part of, you know, got that future stars, part of that young core up there in Toronto with Vlad and Bo Bichette. Yes, Monty Grandal now with the White Sox. Tyler Naquin. Uh, one of my cool, one of my favorite Indians memories is watching his walk off inside the park home run. He threw his hands up, you know, threw the horns up after he crossed home plate and was getting mobbed. Lucas Giolito, Zach Gallen, Jacob Wagspach, the Angels team card, Hollywood Heroes, big hair, big hair. We've got Mike Talkman, David Price. Now with the Dodgers. Uh, love what he did. He paid every minor leaguer in the Dodgers system. Gave him $1,000 just to try to live as uh, teams are cutting their minor league players. Some team, some players that have already made their money. And so I do a lot of respect for David Price for that. Um, I know Shinsu Chu did it, is doing it as well. Uh, but there are some other guys that I heard were doing it. And get, you got to give a lot of respect to those guys helping out uh, the minor league um players that are kind of getting the getting the shaft here lately. Alex Colome, Joey Lucchesi, Cody Bellinger, one of the best young players in the game. Ryan Braun, reaching the end of his career. Hanser Alberto, Michael Conforto, J.P. Crawford, uh, Kevin Pillar, Kyle Lewis, rookie card with the Mariners, Bubba Starling, rookie card with the Royals, J.D. Martinez, uh, Brad Keller, Annabelle Sanchez, Marwin Gonzalez, and rounding it out with Melky Cabrera. I thought Melky Cabrera was retired at this point, but apparently not, unless I did not hear him retiring. So all in all, not a bad, not a bad tin there. Uh, moving on to our last tin here in a second. Again, I say it every time, thank you to any and all people who are watching this video. Uh, it means a lot. Um, just uh, getting, getting your view, getting your like if you enjoyed it, any constructive feedback you can offer in the comments, you know, I, by all means, bring it on. Um, and, you know, can't say thank you enough. So, taking a look at our third tin. So, one thing I want to know down below leave it in the comments, has anyone had success finding uh, any 2020 Bowman? And if you have, have you bought up every single box or pack that's on the shelf? Uh, I've been to Target a couple times, Walmart a couple times since it dropped, and have not found anything at all, which I wasn't expecting to. But it'd be nice, especially starting, you know, the new having a new channel that when a new product actually does come out, it'd be nice to open it, but I don't want to have to spend you know, double what a, what a, even a blaster goes for getting it off of Amazon or off of eBay. So again, we'll do the same thing. I'll take everything in front of our turkey red, just to cut the stack, cut the stack down, and then we'll go from there. So Strasburg, his World Series highlights card. Uh, we got Orlando Arcia, Wade Davis, Joey Votto, another guy getting towards the end of his career. Steven Matz, the Mets team card, Twins team card, Marco Gonzalez, Lewis Thorpe, Sonny Gray. Yes, still with the Reds. I was thinking he went somewhere else. 
Fernando Tatis Jr. Down there, it's our second one to him. Tim Anderson, Manny Machado, Dwight Smith Jr., Matt Chapman, Tyler Flowers, Gary Sanchez, Ronald Acuna Jr. That's a nice looking card. Again, not as rookie, but you know, when you pull a top young player in the league, uh, set it aside. Cattell, there's a Chris Paddock again, Jorge Polanco, Domingo Santana, Evan Longoria, Jordan Zimmerman, uh, Abraham Toro, rookie guard with the Astros, Alberto Mondesi, Jose Urena, decades best award winners, Jeff Bagwell, 1990s, and George Brett in the 80s, 85 style, Hall of Famer with the Royals. Argu you know, arguably the best player in Royals history. Um, really, when you think about it, not even really that close. Uh, we got Eloy Jimenez, his turkey red. Wilson Contreras, Zach Granke, Justin Verlander, Josh Bell. So those are our turkey reds. Reese Hoskin cards. Decades best batters, Jackie Robinson, 1950s. That's the chrome. And we get a Masahiro Tanaka tops chrome turkey red. I like that. Dwight Smith Jr., that's going to be numbered out of 2020. You see it's six, no, 691 out of 2020. So nice. At least we get one numbered card there. Uh, we get the Mike Moustakis now with the Reds. Max Stacy, Stassi. That's another one I have trouble with every now and then. Adrian Morjohn, Daniel Palka, Ian Kinsler, Matt Barnes, Jake Arrieta, Christian Vasquez, Blake Trina now with the Dodgers. Daniel Mangdon, Zach Wheeler, Phillies, Marquez, Jake Lamb, Ben Gamel, Starlin Marte with the Diamondbacks, Brandon Crawford, Austin Meadows, New York, Yankees team card, Zach Granke, Taylor Rogers, Alex Bregman, Jeremy Jeffress, Carlos Santana, Jordan Alvarez again, Clayton Kershaw, Ramon Laureano, Cole Calhoun, I do believe he's now with the Diamondbacks. Billy Hamilton, Hansel Robles, Larry Garcia, Nikki Lopez, Sean Doolittle, Brandon Belt, Pete Alonzo, League Leaders, Merrill Kelly, and Ken Giles. So that's going to be the break here today. Uh, again, thank you so much for coming in. Even just watching my video, I really appreciate it. Um, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully, now that everything's calmed down with... Uh, with my daughter being born, I don't take any extended time off from videos and all that. But, you know, we were in the hospital for, you know, two or three days. So I kind of put everything back and we were prepping before that. But, you know, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. You know, leave a comment if you can tell me what I can do better. Uh, and until next time, everybody, take it easy.